It's been said that getting up and getting moving as soon as you're awake can release endorphins and help set your day up for success. As a runner and the occasional group fitness class enthusiast, I can say while endorphins are great, making the most of your morning routine can have a major impact on your whole health. That's according to certified personal trainer and nutrition coach Katie Frommelt. Katie's on set with me today to show a few examples of how we can make the most of our mornings and maybe our afternoons with a mobility workout. Okay, so let's talk about mobility and why that's important to everyone. I think sometimes we might get into this sort of thought process that as we age, we have to do it, but maybe all along we should be. Yeah, mobility is for anyone and everyone. It's super important and the younger you start, the better you'll feel as you age, as long as you continue on with it. So mobility is essentially uh, the ability of a joint to move through a certain range of motion. Okay. So as we age, it's important that we work on this so that we can complete activities of everyday life, you know, getting in a car, getting out of bed, sitting up from a, a desk or a chair. Um, Feels very proactive. Things. Yes, very proactive. Very yep. proactive. Yep. So if we talk about being kind of proactive, it, it, I, I see it as like, also injury prevention probably. Yes, yes, 100%. And all kinds of reasons why it's really good to just get up and get started. Yes, exactly, yep, so many benefits. Okay, so are you gonna walk us through some things? Yes, okay, I'm gonna walk you go. through a mobility <laughs> sequence. Okay. So it's not gonna be anything too crazy. We're using our body weight only, but again, we are working on controlling movement through a range of motion. Okay. So we're gonna focus on shoulders, back, our core, pillar, hips, hamstrings. This is where we see what yep. my mobility is like. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, let's see how good mine is too. Um, it'll be a test for me. So we're going to start with something called a bent over thoracic rotation. Okay. So our goal here is to open up the thoracic spine or the mid back. So we're going to start with our feet about hip width apart, slight bend in the knees. We're going to start by pushing our hips back. This is what we like to call a hip hinge. So this can be a challenging movement if you're not super used to it. So a cue that I like to give is to pretend like you're trying to close an open door that is behind you with your butt. That's a good so, cue. <laughs> yep, so pushing our hips back, by default, our chest will come closer to the floor. So we're gonna place our left hand on the inside of our left knee here, and then we're gonna focus on keeping our hips forward while rotating our torso towards the ceiling. And you can move through the range of motion that feels comfortable for you, and then come right back down. So we'll go one more rep on this side, Typically, I like to recommend, you know, anywhere from six to ten reps per okay. side, um, and then making sure you that you're spend, Like if you're doing in the morning, how much time are you spending? Probably ten to fifteen minutes. You know, maybe twenty if I've got that extra time. It doesn't have to take a lot of time. You know, you can get a lot done yeah. in ten to fifteen minutes, and especially with something like this where you're not having to use a bunch of equipment. Too. Right, and this could be easily something I'm doing while I'm catching up on my morning news or exactly. anything. Exactly. Yeah. Do right. Watching. Throw, it's not throw the news super... on in the background, a podcast. Yep. Yep. You can multitask. Okay, that felt good. All right, good. <laughs> the next one we're gonna do is a hamstring stretch with an arm sweep. So we're gonna. Loosen up those hamstrings, our muscles behind our legs. So we're gonna start in a staggered stance. I like to line my front heel up with my back toes. Kay. Again, we're moving into that hip hinge movement. Okay. So again, pretend like you're trying to shut the door with your butt. Good cue. Yep, and then you'll feel a stretch here in the back of your front leg. Okay. And now we're gonna deepen the stretch by reaching our arms to the floor as far as we can get, and then sweeping all the way up. You're gonna get some good stretch here in your lats as well. Yeah. This is the biggest muscle group in our back. Circling our arms back to your sides and then repeating on both sides. Okay, that one's, that felt good. This, good. Is, this, is, this feels, feels like good, good yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing too difficult, but okay. you know, we wanna make sure that you're feeling the stretch too, and you're not kind of just, you know, mindlessly going through these motions. Right. You want to go slow and attention. controlled. Yep, have some attention. So okay. we'll move on to the next one. We're going to take it down to the floor in a side lying position. This is what I like to call a side lying or 90 90 stretch, um, open book stretch. Okay. So 90 90 just means that we've got 90 degrees with our thighs and our calves, and then 90 degrees with our thighs and our torso okay. here, so we're on our side. We're gonna bring our palms together here. Yep, just like that, Okay, good. And then we're gonna pretend like we're a book about to open up. Okay. So you can bring your arm up and over. Oh, that feels until nice. Until you can't go any further. You might hear some cracks here and there. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna reverse the motion. So again, this is really good for opening up your thoracic spine, so that mid-back area, you might feel it a little bit in the chest and shoulders. 
Um, if you want more of a chest and shoulder stretch, in addition to mid-back, you can perform a sweeping motion up and over. You can pretend like you're painting the rainbow behind your head. Oh, that's also a nice stretch. Yep. You'll definitely feel this one a little bit more in the chest Is it okay shoulders. if my arm and shoulder are like laying on the ground or do I want to Yeah, stay? actually the closer that you can keep your hand to the ground, the deeper stretch you're going to get. Yeah. The more mobility okay. you'll have, which is good. So okay. again, six to eight reps of each of these um, is, is a good repetition. I would keep doing fall. that one. That one felt good. really yeah, nice. That one yeah, definitely like, feels this good. is like the best start of our show. Like, <laughs> good, oh, yay. Good. Okay. You're experiencing the benefits already. Okay, so now. All we're right, on. now we're going to move into a supine lat stretch. So okay. we're going to be on our back. Um, supine just means that we're on our back. Okay. So I'll rotate this way so you can see a little bit better. So with this one, feet are flat, legs are bent, and then your back is also flat on the floor. So you want to make sure that you can't fit your hand under any space or okay. through the space between your back and the floor. We're gonna bring our palms together in front of our chest and then one arm at a time, we're gonna extend behind. So this is gonna give you a really good stretch in your lats. Yeah. So right here in that area, um, I like to alternate sides. You can do whatever feels best for you. Um, something I'll mention with these movements too is that it's important to match your breathing with the movement. So during the hardest part of these movements, breathe out, exhale, and then as you're returning to the starting position, you can inhale. And then here again, as you reach your arm back, it's important to keep that back flat so we're not arching and losing that core engagement. Okay, I got that. That's something you can easily forget, I think, is that core engagement yes, part. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we kind of don't want to compensate with any other muscle groups. We want to focus on the lat here, but we also want to make sure that, you know, our core is tight right. as well and engaged with everything that we do. That was great. Good. Oh, oh I great. feel ready. <laughs> I'm ready for the day. <laughs> so do you recommend doing this right when you wake up in the morning? Um, yeah, you can, yeah, move around a little bit, you know, wake yourself up, brush your teeth. Um, you know, use the bathroom and then, you know, you can get started right away. Mm -hmm. um, you might have to ease yourself into these movements a little bit. So, you know, starting with, again, maybe six reps of each and then completing a round and then coming back again and, and completing another round. But if you don't have time in the morning, any time yeah. of day, just getting yeah. some of them any in. Yeah, any time of day. Of course, you know, moving first thing in the morning increases our core body temperature, so it can help us feel more alert and yeah. ready for the day. But Fitting this in um, in between long bouts of sitting is yeah. good to do. Um, Anything works. Up. Yep. All right. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. I'm going to probably use the commercial break to get the left side or what we didn't get. Yes. So I can be yes. Down. I love thank that. You. <laughs>